Greetings, Star Wars toy fans. This is Jim. Thanks again for taking the time to stop by my channel. Well, we're back into the swing of things, temporarily. Uh, I say that because uh, later this week, I'm going to be gone for three weeks on a work stint across the state. But I'm uh, trying to get back into the Star Wars videos for you Star Wars fans. The title of this video is I'm going to call it The Rebel Leaders. So we're going to include the Rebel Leaders from Return of the Jedi and Jan Dodonna from Star Wars, since I don't think I covered him in a previous video. Now, these figures are basically, the comparison is basically from my Kenner collection to those that I collect done by Hasbro. And if you're a serious collector and you have have to have everything, well, kudos to you. I don't have the space for that, so I just basically collect what I want. So that's all you're going to get in this video, unfortunately. Now, this is the 1983 version of Admiral Ackbar. This is from my childhood collection. And he doesn't have a lot of wear. In fact, I must have gotten him late in high school. Late enough that I really didn't play with it. You know, when you're in high school, you... Uh, Still want to collect these figures, you know, we do as adults, but you don't want to admit to your friends, yeah, I collect toys. Um, so anyway, I, I'm glad that I got it when I did. Now, just as a closer inspection, it's a really nice sculpt of the figure that Kenner did. Five points of articulation, so he sits there, arms move, and the head does turn. He has this neatly fully sculpted baton. And uh, he gets criticized and that he doesn't have a gun, but, you know, I don't really see him using a gun in the movie, so I think that's just fine. I have no complaints there. Now, the this is the Power of the Force 2 that came out in 1997. Incidentally, Hasbro's only released four versions of this in the three and three quarter size. He's got six points for articulation, so the waist does turn. He doesn't quite fully sit, so you're not going to get him in a ship easily. And then he has this weapon that's molded to the shape of his arm that does a pretty good job of staying on. Now, the next figure we'll look at also came out in 1983 along with Admiral Ackbar, and that's General Medine. He gets a lot of criticism from collectors and that he's kind of a lackluster figure, but it didn't really bother me uh, when I was a kid. It still has some silver paint on there uh, from when I painted my weapons silver so I wouldn't lose them, and it also denoted uh, what my brother's weapons, we uh, between the both of us, sorry about that. Uh, he, again, five points of articulation. He can fully sit. The arms move. And the head's supposed to turn. The, his is really stiff, so I'm not going to budge it. But, yeah, it's uh, really nicely done, I think. Now, this is the 2004 Hasbro release of General Medine. And to my knowledge, there's only two versions produced of this. Both produced the same year, 2004. This is the singly carded version, and I don't have the stand with me. It's somewhere in a box. He has lots of points of articulation. So, again, starting with the head, the waist does turn. Looking at the arm, the shoulders uh, it does go up and down, but they don't move in and out. The elbow does rotate, and it moves up and down. And that's a neat feature, but it's sort of a clunky sculpt, in my opinion. Now, I love the wrist movement. I think that's amazingly fantastic. In fact, they could do without that and keep the rest movement, and I would be perfectly happy. The, my one complaint about this weapon, uh, and you, you'll, you'll do a we'll do a comparison here, is uh, you'll notice the size. I think that the Kenner version is much better. Now I don't know if it's movie accurate or not. I haven't checked it out, but this is so rubbery; um, it's really difficult to get into his hands, and his hands are stiff. Uh, either hand to hold it now the uh, the legs do move for what it's worth uh, but you can't get them beyond the jacket so they might as well have left it just kind of one piece now I, I included here Mon Mothma this is the 1998 Power of the Force Mon Mothma and I misplaced her weapon I was doing a photo shoot one day all of my uh, Hasbro figures and the weapon fell off, and I think the cat took it somewhere. I don't know. I, I didn't I didn't find it after the photo shoot was done. This is the table that I use when I take inventory of my figures. So this really is a kind of a disappointing figure, in my opinion. And they've only made one version of this in the three and three quarter inch size. So she does have this cape that you can see kind of wants to come off. Um, does rotate at the at the waist, but guys, that's it. 
The legs are just like one big slab of plastic. Uh, the arms do move, and you know, if you're going to move the arms up, there goes the cape. So it's really a disappointing figure. I'm surprised Kenner didn't produce her, but maybe they just didn't think that was a figure that would sell due to the times. Now, we'll, uh, we'll end with Ori Marco or Prune Face, so we'll go next to Jan Dodonna from Star Wars. And uh, Jan Dodonna... It's part of the 2004 saga series, saga, and he's got multiple points for articulations. Uh, this one actually is a better sculpt, I think. Uh, you know, arm moves, the wrists do rotate. Um, he doesn't rotate at the waist, but some nice sculpting there. He can fully sit if the cape would allow him to do so. That's one of my pet peeves with the Hasbro collection. You know, either go cloth. Or you go this vinyl. I just prefer they go cloth because you you can play with them a lot better. Um, he happened to come with the three medals and uh, that they give to the heroes on Return of the Jedi. Or, I mean Star Wars. Wrong movie there. Well, the last one I'll include is Prune Face, also known as Ori Marco. Now I'm going to go to one of my books here on that because I I really didn't know that much about him. And so right down here, it says the real name of this Dresslian nickname Prune Face. He was noted resistance fighter during the war to overthrow the Empire. Or Marco was the first of his species to get, be given command of a special force team by the Rebel Alliance. The wrinkly skinned humanoid wears an eye patch and a camouflage cloak. Okie doke. Now, I don't remember if I got this as a child. I don't see any red paint there. Or if I got it as an adult, uh, or maybe later in high school. So here's the sculpt without the uh, the cape or the robe. Really nicely done, I think. Um, and I think Prune Face is aptly named. The arms are pretty stiff there. Five points articulation. He does move nicely. Uh, the gun, the weapon here, fits nicely, just right on his shoulder. You can, and that's how I store him. I keep the weapon with it. And this is a you know nice little fabric cape that Kenner put together, and it easily goes on to the figure. There we go. Didn't need to have you see me struggle through that. Now this is the 1998 version, the Power of the Force, and of course they beefed him out like Arnold Schwarzenegger for this. It has a neatly painted weapon there, uh, one of the few that they did multiple paint jobs on. It's, again, you got that flexible plastic, but not quite as flexible as General Medin's. Six points articulation, so the waist turns. He has nice camouflage pants. Uh, this piece would come off if you could get it past the head, uh, almost like the elephant man there. The arm does move. So the cape doesn't quite prohibit uh, the shawl, if you want to call it that, the full movement like it does with Mon Mothma. So I, I don't have so much of a problem with this and it's a little bit more flexible than say General Nadine's fa uh, plastic. Well I hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you did and uh, I've got several more figure videos to do including uh, the Imperials, the indoor heroes, pilots or the, the, the rebel pilots, biker scouts, the Ewoks and of course the ghosts. And then in addition to some ships to do some reviews on. Well, again, give it a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel and we'll see you on a future one. Take care.